The acid catalyzed hydration of alkenes involves the addition of water across a pi bond. The mechanism begins with the protonation of the pi bond. This results in a carbocation intermediate that is attacked by water in the second step of the mechanism. An oxonium ion is thus generated and the oxonium ion loses a proton to the medium to afford an alcohol as a final product. It's useful to note that you may see the acid catalyst stipulated in one of three ways. It may simply be written as H+, it may be written as the hydronium ion H3O+, or the specific acid may be stated for instance, sulfuric acid in water. The reaction is catalytic in acid because while a hydronium ion is consumed during protonation, a hydronium ion is reformed during the loss of proton step. Therefore, there is no net consumption of acid. In this specific example, the alkene substrate is symmetrical. So it does not matter which alkene carbon acquires the new proton during the protonation step. Protonation at either site will yield the same carbocation intermediate and ultimately the same reaction product due to the molecule's symmetry. The alkene is first protonated and this affords a carbocation intermediate that is attacked by water. The oxonium ion that results sheds a proton to the medium and this yields the alcohol product. When the alkene substrate is unsymmetrical, protonation occurs so as to provide the more stable carbocation intermediate. This usually follows Markovnikov's mnemonic in which we would say that the carbon of the alkene that has more protons acquires the new proton. However, conjugation can sometimes be a complicating factor, so it's always useful to evaluate the stability of both possible carbocation intermediates. In this case, protonation of the alkene could afford either a primary or a tertiary carbocation. So the reaction proceeds through the more stable tertiary carbocation, which in turn is attacked by water. The oxonium ion loses a proton and this yields the final alcohol product. Stereochemistry is sometimes a concern in acid catalyzed hydrations. There are two carbons of the reactant involved in this transformation. Sometimes no stereocenters will be formed during the reaction, but it's also possible that one or even two stereocenters may be formed during this process. In this specific example, a symmetrical alkene substrate undergoes acid catalyzed hydration, and the product will ultimately contain a single stereocenter. During the protonation step, it does not matter which alkene carbon acquires the new proton because of the molecule's symmetry. Notice though that the addition of a proton does not generate a stereocenter. However, when water attacks the carbocation intermediate, a stereocenter is formed. And since the carbocation is trigonal planar or flat, water may attack it from above or from below to yield two enantiomeric oxonium ions, each of which will shed a proton to the medium so as to form a racemic mixture of alcohol products. In this next example, an unsymmetrical alkene substrate undergoes acid catalyzed hydration. The reactant bears a deuterium atom. Deuterium is merely an isotope of hydrogen. From the perspective of chemical reactivity, it is nearly the same as hydrogen. But because deuterium is not identical to hydrogen, 
they count as different substituents. Therefore, during the protonation step, the proton will be added to the same carbon that bears the deuterium atom, because this will yield the more stable tertiary carbocation intermediate. But in this process, a stereocenter is formed because hydrogen and deuterium count as different substituents. Since the alkene carbons are both trigonal planar or flat, the proton may be added from below or from above to generate two enantiomeric carbocation intermediates labeled A and B. In the next step of this reaction, carbocations A and B are both attacked by water. As this attack occurs, a second stereocenter is formed, and each carbocation intermediate has trigonal planar or flat geometry at the reactive center, and therefore water may attack from below or from above so as to yield stereoisomeric oxonium ions. The same happens with carbocation B. When it is attacked by water, the attack can occur from below or from above to yield two more stereoisomeric oxonium ions. In the last step of this reaction, the four stereoisomeric oxonium ions will each shed a proton to the medium so as to yield four stereoisomeric alcohol products. These are labeled products C, D, E, and F. Notice that products C and F are enantiomers of one another. They have the opposite configuration each and every stereocenter. Also notice that products D and E are enantiomers of one another. They too have the opposite configuration at each and every stereocenter. However, any other comparison of these products will be diastereomeric in nature. Since acid-catalyzed hydration involves a carbocation intermediate, carbocation rearrangement is a possibility. In this specific example, the alkene is protonated in the first step so as to yield the more stable secondary carbocation. However, that secondary carbocation resides next to a quaternary center, which is more highly substituted and would therefore be a better location for the carbocation. Consequently, a 1,2 methyl shift occurs. In the process, a methyl group migrates to the center that was previously the carbocation. As a result, it is now this tertiary center that bears the carbocation. In this single step, we have formed a more highly substituted and therefore more stable carbocation intermediate. It is this carbocation that is then attacked by water to form an oxonium ion. The oxonium ion loses a proton to the medium, and this generates the final alcohol product. In summary, acid-catalyzed hydration adds water across a pi bond with Markovnikov regiochemistry. If stereocenters are created, both configurations will be possible at any new stereocenter because all reactive sites are trigonal planar or flat and therefore additions can occur from above or from below. Carbocation rearrangement is also possible in this reaction. It is also worth noting that this reaction can be performed with an alcohol in place of water. This transformation is nearly identical, except for the fact that an alkoxy group, or an OR group, will be added instead of an OH group. 
This is the result of the nucleophilic attack of the alcohol and its subsequent loss of a proton. Consequently, the product of this variation is an ether instead of an alcohol. The preceding has been an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, A Color-Coded Approach to Arrow Pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, and in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.